Another broken water, uh, wastewater pipe in Wellington means trucks are hauling a million litres of sludge a day to landfill, a move that could cost ratepayers more than a million dollars. The latest failure, which happened last week, occurred in the Mount Albert sewer tunnel, part of a nine-kilometre pipeline that carries sewage from Moore Point on the city's south coast to the southern landfill. Jonathan Mitchell reports. The decision to truck the brown sludge to the dump could last weeks and could run into the millions of dollars. The trucks are driving up to 150 trips every day and the return trip from the Moa Point treatment plant to the dump takes an hour. Wellington Water's Chief Wastewater Advisor Steve Hutchison says they may need to operate around the clock at times to keep up with the volume. He says the option of sending the sludge directly up to Cook Strait isn't preferred. The alternatives to this are the, the slurry going out untreated out to um, the Cook Strait. That would be not preferred. Uh, that, was, that was what the plant was set up as, a, as its last resort, as its backup. So we have the pipe work in place, but we're undertaking all efforts we can to avoid having to do that. He says it's highly unusual for both underground pipes to fail at once. These are, in, in our view, relatively young pipes. Uh, they were laid in 1994 as part of the... Um, out of the works to get the Moa Point treatment plant uh, enabled. Yes, so why has this happened? If you're so new. We still have to get in to um, verify exactly what the cause of failure was. In December, a wastewater pipe collapsed in the CBD, which caused more than 5 million litres of sewage to spill into the harbour. Currently, an above-ground black pipe was working in its place, but plans are underway to put it all underground. Wellington Water's Chief Executive Colin Crampton says that black pipe should be off Willis Street in a couple of months. The reason that's significant is that the black pipe on the surface at the moment is not only disrupting uh, traffic and public transport but also affecting the businesses in the area. So the council and ourselves are very focused on getting the black pipe off the road and underground. He says decommissioning the old wastewater tunnel that collapsed will take longer. Closing that off so that it's never used again um, is a complex and risky project and so we are still investigating in that, into that and we'll, we'll make a separate announcement around the timing of when uh, Dixon Street will be able to re- reopen permanently because it's a, you know, it's a different time frame. The Mayor Andy Foster hopes once the black pipe is underground, traffic will be able to flow more freely. This afternoon, he personally thanked the companies that worked around the clock to limit the flow of sewage into the harbour before Christmas. For Checkpoint, call Jonathan Mitchell, TNA.